Hello and welcome to this Photoshop Element 7 tutorial from digitalphotographycourses.co.uk My name is Glenn Tilliard and today as I say we're looking at the, um, the amateur version of Photoshop um, it's around about a fifth of fifth of the price, so and, but it's a very good program. It will do uh, virtually everything that you need it to do as an amateur photographer. So if we look just here, when you first start the program, you're presented with the uh, the welcome screen, and on the welcome screen here we have four buttons: organize, edit, create, and share. And these buttons kind of follow the logical workflow. Organize deals with getting your photographs uh, from the camera or from your computer into the program. Uh, the edit, as it sounds, allows you to make corrections to those pictures and uh, maybe replace skies or remove people. Create will allow you to create calendars and photo merge and uh, one or two little bits and pieces, DVD covers, that sort of thing. And share allows you to upload your picture to the Adobe website so that your friends and family or anybody else you wish can view them. So let's get started. Well, first of all, we will start with the uh, the organize button. So if we click on the organize button, that will bring us up the um, the editor or the organizer, if you like. And uh, this is presenting you with um, the pictures that are on my computer. And as you can see in this view, we have sort of a folder view. Um, these photographs are from the, the Photoshop Elements pics, which are available on the website for you to download and have a little play with. But as you can see, there's also lots and lots of other photographs uh, on there from various things, um, jobs along the way. Okay, but as I say, today we will be working on these photographs here. You can actually change this view slightly if you come up to the top here, the top right, where it says display. You can, you've got also thumbnail view, which basically just loses this bar just here and just gives you a little bit more real estate. You notice on the right hand side, you've got another panel which has got uh, four tabs on it organize, fix, create, and share. You'll recognize these sort of terminology from the home page, and we will look at those on a later course. Um, don't worry about these things for now, really. But what we can do as well, if you need a little bit more space, you can actually just drag again this to the left and to the right. There we go. And if you want to, you can uh, sort of close the window. Right, so let's have a look at uh, some of the photographs we've got. What I'm actually going to do is I, I personally prefer the folder view because I can see um, sort of where all my pictures are and where they're all location again just by clicking here on display and any moment now so I think it's run a bit slow because I've got several programs running at the same time um, there we go so it brings up my folders and I can just go and have a look on the, uh, on the desktop there we go and find the pictures that we're working with. Excellent. Now, we, what we can also do with these pictures, you'll notice a couple of these have got like little stars on. This is so that we can actually rate our photographs. Um, so you can look through your selection of pictures. If you need to see more of them, the easiest way to do that is if you come up to the top here, you've got a slider, and if you slide to the left, your pictures will go a little bit smaller. And if you slide it to the right, then they get larger. Also, if you double click any photograph, it will go to its maximum uh, viewing area. And again, if you double click it again, it will go back down to its thumbnail size. So that's quite a useful little tip. If you need to rotate a photograph, then you've just got these two icons at the top, and you can rotate right and rotate left. And you will get this uh, warning that it um, says that if you change uh, if you rotate an image you will be losing uh, image quality so uh, it's really if you need to rotate it then you've got to rotate but don't uh, don't just do it for the sake of it okay then so we we'll just cancel out with that so as I say we can kind of uh, give these uh, pictures a bit of a rating if we want to so what we could do is maybe if we said uh, all these three pictures here if you hold down the control key, you can click on 
uh, individual photographs. And if we give those a rating of say two stars, they've all you know so they've all got two stars now. And if I just click on here and say only show pictures with two stars, then we'll only see those photographs. So it's quite a useful little uh, quite a useful little tool. There we go. And just come out of there again. And they will all appear again shortly. And if we just look uh, over here on the right, uh, you can see that we've got these what's called keyword tags. And um, we've got various colours, blue, green. We can change all these. But you see at the moment there's some preset tabs for you, or tags for you. We've got people, places, events, and other. So uh, what we can do with the people, all you do is you click on the tag, and you drag it to a person. And now that person's sort of labelled with that tags. So what you can do is if I just find, if I just do these two people here and we just tick that box, what will actually happen is only the people uh, that are tagged as people will be visible. There we go. And if we uncheck the box, then everything will become back again. Likewise, you could do the same for places, you tag things as places. And what you can actually do is, for instance, there in places, I can go plus. Uh, new keyword tag or subcategory. There we go. And um, we have a subcategory of places. Uh, this was actually taken in Cornwall. So if I just type Cornwall, there we go. Click OK. Now I've got a tab that is a place, but it's also called Cornwall. And what I can do is I can drag it onto the pictures from Cornwall. And then whenever I'm looking for a picture of Cornwall, all I need to do is check that box and they will appear. So that very quickly is a quick whiz around the organizer, shows you how to resize images, how to tag images, and in a little while we'll come back and we'll take a look at some of these tabs at the top here and the quick fixes. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed that lesson and hopefully I'll see you again for the next one very soon.